Hi. Oh, there's Kelly. That was quick. <laughs> that was really quick. Hi, Kelly. There's Kelly. That was quick. Oh, and I got to get rid of that. Got to mute that. Oof. All right, so we're going to make uh, some Valentine's hearts. or We're going to make some hearts. They're not necessarily Valentine. They don't have to be. Oops, sorry. You don't need that. Yeah. I need to clean my craft room. <laughs> I know you were already here. You were quick. You were very quick. Um, besides doing the hearts, well, I mean, I could put a cart link up. Maybe I'll do that later. Maybe I'll just do it now. Um, I don't know. Should I put the cart link up? Should I not? We'll, we'll, we'll not. Okay. So I do need to share this out into Facebook land. I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, I don't know what. Normally I come home and I like have some food and relax and then I decide if I'm going to go live or not. But I just came home, let the dogs out and basically came in here. Hello, Miss Florence. So I'm a little off. Well, more than normal. All right. Uh, let's get this. And we'll put it here. Well, if I can hit paste. Okay, that looks really weird. Okay, it doesn't look that weird on your page. That's good. So how was work, Florence? Yeah, burning the midnight oil. Hi, Miss Carrie. My second game went to runtime, so it went really quick. Well, once we got to the third period, it went quick. It just took a while to get to the third period. All right, all right, all right. Work was crazy? Why was it crazy? No big, nothing, no big holidays coming up, right? All right, let me get this where I can send this out. If you, um, if you are not a chalk couture designer, please feel free to send this out into Facebook land. I would appreciate it. We're gonna do some hearts tonight. Um, so there are our standard three-fourths inch cutouts, and they're two-sided. I'm going to share this out a little bit. Send it out to Facebook land. Hello, Miss Teresa. Customers. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I did this t-shirt. And, um, this is... Hot mess, that's the technique, or at least that's what we call it, hot mess. And technically it's on a, it's a Christmas transfer, but no, you can, you can use it for anything. Son of a nutcracker. It's just, it's just good.
So let me send this out a bit. It's so much easier to do now. I can send out to a bunch of places before where I couldn't. I'm doing all right. Like I said, I'm a little scattered because I just got home from scorekeeping and I basically let the dogs out and came right in here. Normally I like relax and have some food and then I come in here, but, um, or I just don't come on because it's so late. But I told y'all last night I would come on, so here I am. And I just got to send this out. Hello, Miss Ruby. Miss Ruby, you're going to love the new paste. It is so creamy and dreamy and wonderful. It's just like the ink. It's just like it's supposed to be. And on the new paste, the reformulated paste, keep the seal and put it in the top and then use it to put it back on there. Don't throw those away. And some of the restocks today was new paste. So if you want some, you should order those. Um, I can't remember which colors restocked today, but I know there's some in there. Oh, that's the word I'm looking for. Crafting. Some of these places change their names. I don't want to see that. Okay, well, we're just going to skip that one. Oh, you were at the service desk. No wonder it was crazy. Ooh, sorry, sorry. That sounds good, though. Butternut squash ravioli. Mm. You probably won't need water. This is like the original formula, but better. I used to have, well, I used to make in the slow cooker, um, used two can well it was a big it made a bunch two cans of cream or butter Campbell's butternut squash soup or something really hard to find that um I, I haven't found it in years I've actually got two cans that are like really old soup doesn't go bad especially Campbell's um so I've got some of those still floating around to make it uh some chicken breasts Salt, pepper, probably some garlic, and I can't remember everything else that we put in there with it, but oh, it was so good. So good. All right, so we're going to use our little heart cutouts. Ta-da! Um, I kind of feel like I want to paint one side first before, before putting the hearts on there. So let me... Let me grab a color that I want to use up because it's old paste. <laughs> so now that's what I'm going to be doing. Since we're getting new formula paste, I'm going to be trying to use up old paste that is gunky. Uh, so I just got to find a color that's sitting in front of me that I want to use up. Not that one. Because there's some that... I haven't taken care of like I should have, and they need help. See, that's too dark. I don't want to use that. That's too dark. And that's too light. Ocean mist. See, that's one of the fluffy ones. Um, You know what, Kelly? I need to send you a link. Uh, totally like blew my mind that I hadn't sent it to you before. Um, I'll send it to you later. Let's see about fig. Uh, I haven't even opened it. 
Okay, we're not going to use fig. There's too many choices. Ken's goodies. Like, I have brand new paste that I haven't even opened. Like, that just... All right. See, this one died. <laughs> I'm going to have to order a new one. And at this point, because it's di it died, I'm just going to, like, wait till the new stuff comes out and order it. Yeah. Those are sad. Those are sad, sad paste. And I don't want to use my vacay pack. I do have paste samples. Ooh, what's this over here? And by the way, there was a bunch of restocks today and a ton of product is going to be retiring or going on pause at the end of January. So February 1, it's gone. And they revised the retirement list because there was a couple of items that was on that was not included with the first version of the retirement list <laughs> because they couldn't list it because it would have everybody would have rioted and it would have given away what they were bringing in new like the vintage truck was not on the original retirement list because the last time they tried to retire that, like two years ago, uh, everybody had a hissy fit and was like, you can't get rid of our truck. Are you crazy? Well, they got rid of our truck. But now we have a truck that goes both ways. I won it at leadership this weekend. So here it is. And the this part is a lot more detailed. It used to just be like an open section. Now it's got all this detail in it. So this is the new truck. This comes out February 2nd. So the single truck is retiring. As soon as it sells out, it will retire. So what color is this? This color is, this is my Couture Cor Coral, which will be one of the new colors, that, or not new colors, one of the colors they get to reformulating quickly. Yeah, Kelly, remind me to send you that link. So I'm just going to put some water in this to get it back to what it's supposed to be because I have not been doing maintenance on my paste like I should but the thing is we're getting our formula refigured and the new ones shouldn't be doing this the new ones are like our original paste lasted a long time that's why I still have paste from 2019 floating around that are good uh, this one not so much no, it is chalk based. It's not paint. It's a chalk paste. So it will dry eventually, but you can just add water, distilled or bottled water, and look, it comes back to life. Yay. But the newer version, not the new formula, but the more recent paste, they lost the, they lost this. And they would dry out a lot quicker, and you really had trouble bringing them back. But that's what happens when you are making a hundred a hundred jars of paste at a time, and then you have to take and multiply your recipe to a thousand jars at a time, or ten thousand jars at a time. Uh, the recipe gets wonky. Anybody that does baking knows that certain uh, certain pieces of recipes. You don't have to multiply, like baking soda or baking powder. I can't remember which one it is. But, like, if you quadruple your recipe, it's still the same amount. It only needs the same little amount. You don't multiply it by four. Um, so that's kind of what happened with our paste is, like, everything got multiplied and it goofed up the formula. That's why we have, we've had some marshmallowy paste. Or fluffy, you know, I call it marshmallow because that's kind of what it is. But they hired, Chocotour hired um, a lab to evaluate our pastes and to configure what we wanted. And so we have these lovely new pastes that are coming out that are creamy and dreamy like they're supposed to be, the original ones. They will take a little bit longer to dry though. But Chocotour 
is also coming out with a quick dry tool, which is not very noisy at all. So instead of my noisy hair dryer, I will be ordering one of those and getting that in here and it's nice and quiet. All right, so now I got that that I need to dry. Now I'm just gonna paint these hearts real quick. I thought I had a smaller piece of cardboard, but guess not. I swear, I have a smaller piece of cardboard. Oh, there it is. Spotted it. I knew it was round. I knew it was round. See, much smaller. All right, get this over here. We're gonna paint one side of these so they have some color on it. I just don't want, I don't want white background on both sides. One side I'll do a white background. The other side I want color on. So we're just going to put this here. So if anybody's joined in and is watching, my name is Vicki. I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture. And we're just going to play around with some heart cutouts tonight. And I'm just painting with my paste right now. Needed to be thinned a little. Just give this some color on this side. There's many things you can use the paste for. It doesn't always have to be used directly with a transfer. Of course, it helps if I don't have a little lump that's gonna make holes in my painting. All right, we'll probably do two coats. And then we're going to use our heart, uh, heart patterns. What is it? Heart patterns. The name of the transfer is on, on the back of the plastic wrap. And then it's also down at the bottom of the actual transfer. It's just tiny type. And I don't have my reading glasses. Well, I don't have them on. Yeah, we're gonna do two coats just so I don't have as many brush strokes on this. So if anybody has any questions while we're doing this, feel free to put your question in the comments. If I don't see it, I have some other people that are my regulars that'll make sure I actually see your question um, or you can send me a direct message I am making a mess I'm, well not make I'm not making a mess I'm making it worse and this is why I'm happy about the new quick dry tool because this thing is so loud let me dry these real quick so I can put a second layer on them that's low The new quick dry tool is really, really quiet. Hello, Cam. Layer on here. I want to make 
sure these are dry so when I put the second layer, it doesn't pull up the first. Because it is chalk, not paint. We may only do one side of these tonight. We'll see. Depends on how hungry I get. one layer but you can still see like below it and I'm kind of not I'm kind of trying to get that off of there that is way too thick I should have put my paste in a little color tray and then added water to it first instead of just like plopping it on here. Too late. Already on here now. I want to add some water to it, but I'm afraid I'm going to pull up the first layer if I do that. That is thick. We're going to do it on that one though. Smaller surface. I can move quicker. not sure about this one. Alright, well we're gonna do it go with that. We may be using this on the other side. I'm not sure yet. This needs to go somewhere. There. That will just wash up in the sink with water. The paste is non-toxic. It is uh, non-permanent for the most part. That's the 
new, that's our leadership color, just to compare it to the coral. Very hot pink, I love it. Actually, we're going to put these to the side. I am going to use our Club Couture transfer. This is it. Club Couture is our monthly subscription. Um, well, my idea just hit me. So this is our monthly su subscription. It is $19.99 a month. You get a B-size transfer, so it's like size of a notebook paper. And you get three coordinating paste singles with it. Not these colors, but those are paste singles. Um, yeah, definitely not those colors. I couldn't remember what those were. And I'm looking for my I'm looking for my fake Exacto. There it is. Um, Nineteen ninety a month. $19.99 a month. They are just changing up the Club Couture program. So before, if you signed up in January, you could add on the current month, so this transfer, and then your subscription would actually start with February, but you didn't know what you were getting. So they're just changing up the program, and now, let me, let me see if it's, it should be on here already. Hold on. Let me see if it's on here before I say anything, but they're, they're changing it up where now when you enroll, you do pay when you first sign up, but they immediately send you the transfer that is that month. You don't have to add on. Yes, they have changed it on the site already, so that's good. So let me copy this. Oh wait, no they haven't. Sorry. Son of a nutcracker! Uh, it must start February 1st. Yeah, they have not, they have not changed the wording yet. It's still an add-on, so it starts in February. Sorry. Um, it starts in February, where the current month will be the one that you start with immediately. And if you sign up on, say, the 20th for Club Couture, they will ship out, they will bill you and ship out that month, transfer immediately. And then you'll get your next, totally flub that, you'll get your next Club Couture transfer billed on the 5th of the month which is our normal billing day for Club Couture, and then they'll ship out the next month right after that, usually on the 6th, depending on where the days fall with the weekends and holidays and stuff. Okay, this side I cut fine. It's just that other side that I totally did not cut hard enough. Yeah, right there. So some, some designers will take scissors and cut these into multiple pieces. I, no, that's not me. I do not want to keep up with four pieces for one transfer and different sizes. It's all going back on its original backer, and I can keep track of it that way. And then, of course, with Club Couture, once you sign up, you also get $4.95 shipping for all your orders as long as you're signed into your club membership. needed a drink and now when you first subscribe you can add everything to your cart that you want and not have to place two, two orders because that's how it used to be when you, you had to sign up for Club Couture first and then go back and place another order if you wanted to take advantage of the $4.95 shipping you don't need to do that anymore okay so this is, like I said, this is the January Club Couture. That amper stand, that's what it's called, the 
the and sign, ampersand, is way too big for this little heart. But we have these really cute monogram letters, which are also retiring. And I snagged this one because you can, oh, actually this is the only monogram letter I have. I snagged this one because they are retiring this style, but you can always use an and symbol to link words together on a, a, a board or a shirt, things like that. But these are still in stock. And this will actually fit on here. Now, of course, the hearts don't stand like this. So I gotta figure out how I wanna do this. Whether I wanna turn it on its side and then put you and me on there or not. And because I already have paste on here, I'm pretty sure I don't need to fuzz these, but uh, yeah, they'll be fine. Too that's too crooked. I do want it kind of straight. Just seeing how that's going to line up. Okay, that'll line up like that. Now this is not an exactly smooth surface because I do have some of the little lumps from my uh, paste jar on here. And there's one right there. We have to be careful with that. Um, what color are we using for this? What color are we using for the words? I'm kind of thinking. Ooh, that black is going away. Uh, shoot. Where is it? Kind of thinking shimmer shadow. Shimmer shadow and see I think I don't think that will show up very well. Shimmer shadow and no. Hold on. Shimmer red. I don't think shimmer red's gonna look very good. We're gonna go with Presto Purple. It's a shimmer. And we're gonna do shimmer shadow. Just because I want I'm not, I don't usually use the shimmers because they kind of leave a shimmer on the transfers that I don't necessarily like to always have there, but we're going to go with shimmer tonight because that's, I'm kind of in a shimmer mood. So we're doing shimmer. All right. So are we doing you and me in the purple or the and sign? Y'all are voting. So you and me in the purple. Shimmer purple, Presto purple actually. Or are we doing the and sign? Y'all, y'all vote. While I write on this, they haven't told us the official name of this yet. Need to write on there on juniper the same. Uh, okay, so let's see what our voting is. You and me in pres pres presto, and in purple. Okay, we got one of each. 
Uh, I know there's more than two people on, so I need y'all to vote, please. We need, a, yeah, we need more than two votes. So are we doing the you and me, uh, you, me, and Presto Purple? Or are we doing this and sign in the Presto Purple? The other color I'm going to use is black, or Shimmer Shadow. So one's going to be pr Presto Purple, the other will be Shimmer Shadow. Is that Miss Karen Lambert hopping on? Hello. You, me, shimmer purple, and pre okay, we're tied again. <laughs> Hello, Karen. We are tied again. All right, there's more, that, more, unless they're counting me as one. Shoot. All right, we're going to and Presto Purple. Ouch. All right, the first thing I see is Kelly saying you and me, or you, me, and Presto. We're going to go with that as our tiebreaker. So you and me will be Presto Purple which means we're going to do the ampersand in Shimmer Shadow. That's hard for me to say. Shimmer Shadow. Shimmer Shadow. Now, our shimmer pastes, you don't have to necessarily, like, mix up. They are fine. They're just a little bit thicker. They seem really thick, but they go on pretty thin. So we're going to put this on here. And I, like I said, I do have a couple of bumps because of the, just when you're doing with a foam brush, you get some bumps. And I had a couple of lumps in my paste. There's one right there. So I'm going to go, instead of going this way and having a bleed, I'm going to go that way to hopefully not have a bleed. And by the way, the new formula paste or the reformulated paste that's coming back out won't dry as quickly. So paste and peel might actually be a thing of the past. We'll have to see. It's going to be more like the ink that takes a little bit longer to dry, which is why you will need a quick dry tool, unless you want to just hear your hair dryer. I mean, a hair dryer will work, but it's just noisy. As per mine, is very noisy. My old one wasn't, so my old one must have been a lower wattage. And I just wanted a higher wattage and, well, it's noisy. It's very noisy. All right, get rid of that. And we're going to peel that off. Well, where that bump was, it didn't really go down. We'll fix that. It didn't get good application. So I'm just gonna take that, put that paste side down in my tray. I'll take this to the sink and wash it with water and my hand mostly, and then we will have those ready to use next time. I'm just going to use my detail tool and put some of that paste. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that after we're done because I need to dry this and put the next layer on, and I can go back afterwards and fix all the oopsies. Oh my gosh. How, how is it after three? It's like 1245, so 145 on the East Coast. You must be in the way tippy tip of Canada. Like New York and Maine, or it's 145 AM. Where are you, Karen? I know you're in Canada. That's about it. Try this before putting the next pieces on. And by the way, Karen, they've changed Canadian shipping. It should be better now. We're going to 
going to FedEx International. And they're shipping items individually instead of as one carton to go across the border. So you won't get your stuff held up for some weird reason. Hello, Ginger! So that one dried really quickly. I didn't really think about where these were going. So we're just going to, I'm just going to get this where it's mostly on here. And we're going to do me and you because it fits better. Oh, you're a newfie. I didn't know you were a newfie. So we're going with that. So let me get my shimmer or my Presto purple. Now there is a lump right there that I just knocked off. No, I'm doing it on one heart. I'm going to do some, I'm going to do one of the designs on the other heart, but this one is going to be just on here. Uh, I'd rather be a newfie. I'd rather be a newfie. You're a newfie. All right. So like I said, the paste, or sorry, the shimmer paste are really thick in the jar, but they go on really thin. So you think you need a lot, but you really don't. Oh, and Karen, there are the the O Canada transfer is one that's retiring, and we have new Canadian transfers coming out too. One is so freaking adorable; it's got a beaver on it. I'm ordering that so quick; it's adorable. The O Canada transfer is also one that was not on the original retiring list because all the Canadians would have been upset about that going on retiring and. They couldn't tell anybody that we had new ones coming out until they released the catalog, which that happened this weekend. So now we can have a revised uh, retiring list. Well, shoot. Okay, well, see, I'm glad I waited. Because my other transfer pulled up uh, the black, which I already had to fix part of it anyway, so we'll just fix it all at one time. And we are going to use this end for part of it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Be a newfie. So I'm just going to take my detail tool 
and kind of fill in some of this. You can make it vintage looking by having some of that off, but I don't want that much of it off. I don't mind some of it looking distressed, but not a whole big glob missing. I just got to be careful where I put my hand because I did not dry that Presto purple before doing this. And I already tried to put my hand in it once. So I'm not trying to fill every little section in, but like I said, I just want it to where it doesn't look like it's goofed up so much. And for this section, because it's smaller, I'm going to open the other end, which is smaller. So you just take off the cover, and it's got this really fine little tip. And I'm just going to use that on here. Like I said, I'm not trying to get it to look perfect. I'm just filling in some of where it pulled up. Because you know what? Unless you're watching my live, you would never know there's a problem. Or, I mean, some people want it this way. Okay, there's that one. Good enough for now, except for I want to fill in that couple spots with the purple. Yeah, I know the shipping was an issue. They and they've they've been trying to address that for a while. And they kept obviously, I mean, you know, they kept revamping shipping for Canada and trying to figure out the best way to get it there cheapest without it being, you know, taking the whole country tour to get to you. All right, so let me just dry this one real quick. So there's one, because they do sit on their side. All right, now we're going to make the second one to go with it. I'm going to use the same colors so they tie together. And I don't need this necessarily. I got to put this back cover back on here or I will lose it. All right, so now I'm going to... Move this out of the way so I don't mess it up. We'll just trade spots. I think I'm going to go with the XO pattern. So this is our heart cutout patterns. The only thing I don't like about this is that they're diagonally cut, which gave me a hard time getting them back on the transfer or the backer. So we're just going to line this up. I am going to fuzz it a little bit because it's like the, this is chalk. It's not going to stick to it as much, but because it's overhangs, it's going to stick to my, I could just do it on that, but we're going to hold on. I'm going to move this. I only needed this while I was painting. Because the transfer will stick to that cardboard like nothing else. On this, like the desk, I can pull it back up. It's still sticky. But it won't stick like it would to that cardboard. Now the transfers are not exact. They do go over a bit. But I just need to kind of 
make sure everything gets covered. All right, I'm just gonna push that down. Now, we're gonna try something with this. I'm cracking you up, what, just because I don't know where to put stuff? All right, um, we're gonna go a little crazy here. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, lump some extra on there, and I'm just gonna get another. I'm gonna get another squeegee because we're doing both colors. And I'm gonna make this one ombre. Now this is uh, the shimmer, so it shouldn't dry as quick. Hopefully. And I'm starting in the transfer and moving out. Otherwise, I'm going to go this way and hit that edge, and it's going to leave a hard uh, edge. It's going to actually, like, color the side of it where I don't necessarily want it <laughs> to have dark coloring or any color on it. All right. I'm putting more purple on here. It needs more purple. So we're ombreing it, which we're just mixing the colors. This may look like crap after we're done. I don't know. <laughs> it may. I hope it doesn't. It's looking a little dark, so I'm taking the remaining, like, purple that's in the middle and pushing it out so it gets more of the purple in there. All right, well, let's see what we're going to look like. Besides me being all multiple shimmer colored. Now, obviously, I'm not going to put this back in a jar because it's mixed. So I'm just going to wipe that off. a lot of paste. I hate wasting all that paste. It looks cool right now. All right, let me get rid of that. And I need to wipe my hands off before putting that all over that heart. Wow. Small problem. Baby wipes are easy to use to wipe your hands and get the paste off because <laughs> I have it everywhere. The paste is non-toxic, so it's not a problem. All right, so let's see what this little guy looks like.
All right, let me close these up. And then I'm going to blow dry these and we'll flip them around. We're only going to do the one side tonight. Because I, I want this side to completely dry before doing the other side. That is freaking adorable. I even got some paste on the side. It was on my finger and I got it where it didn't belong. Alright, so this is freaking adorable. I'm going to have to take a picture and post it in the team, um, team artwork contests. So there is our cute little heart with a heart. Heart with a heart. And there is me and you. And they can go together like so. Just like that. Oops, like that. Very cute. I mean, you could do it the other way too, but it fits better this way. La la la. There we are. So we got first set of hearts. And we'll do the back sides uh, maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow or Saturday. Very cute. Like that. Alrighty. So that is it for tonight. Like I said, if you have questions about Chalk Couture, Doing this for yourself, you do not have to be artsy craftsy. You can make a mess and it still comes out great. Um, let me know, shoot me a message, leave a comment. I'll get you details on how you can purchase uh, retail or uh, join the monthly Club Couture, which is, oh, well, it's our monthly subscription, but join Club Couture because they run $4.95 shipping in there and then also they offer the club members special discounts and sales that most other that the other customers don't get. Or you can even sign up as a, as a designer, which, I mean, that's what... <laughs> I signed up as a designer right away. I didn't even have to think about it because some of the transfers that I saw two years ago were just so adorable. And I'm like, I need that. I can do that. It's easy. You do not have to be artsy craftsy. And because it's removable on most surfaces, not these, um, it's easy enough to do something, make a mistake, wipe it off, start again. Now these surfaces can be reu reused. They are a one-time, they are listed as a one-time uh, surface. I'm cleaning my squeegees back here, by the way. But you can take and, like I did the pink, you can paint over them again. You can sandpaper it and take off what's on. Actually, you can, you can get it wet, take it off, and then sandpaper the rest of it off, repaint it, put, another, put something else on there. You can use them multiple times. You just have to put some work in it. It's not as easy as the chalkboards where you can just wipe it away. So there's that. Uh, I just got fuzzy on the camera. I don't know why at all. It's the internet, I'm sure. Hello, Miss Leanne. I'm just wrapped up, uh, wrapping up. We made uh, a me and you and a heart with a heart. We made some hearts tonight. We'll do the backsides uh, either tomorrow or Saturday, probably. 
I don't know yet. So there we are with those shimmer purple or sorry presto purple which is shimmer purple and shimmer shadow which is a shimmer black. So there are those. We are good to go. I appreciate you watching. Like I said if you have any questions make sure you contact me and I will get your answers to you. And make sure you like and follow this page and turn your notifications on so you see me when I go live next. And I don't know why I'm fuzzy over here, but that's it. I appreciate you watching. Thank you.